Well, the debate over climate change remains a hot button topic, and now some of Hollywood's biggest names are taking action. Matt Damon, Harrison Ford, and Arnold Schwarzenegger are part of the team behind a nine part documentary series, Years of Living Dangerously. It premieres tomorrow night on Showtime, a division of CBS. Isn't the forestry department responsible for policing this kind of activity? This is horrifying. Look this at that. They just cut them at the base, dropped the trees, burned everything. Right. Wow. If Indonesia's forestry minister won't even protect a national park, what hope is there for the rest of the country's forests? Dr. M. Sunjin is the senior scientist at Conservation International and a correspondent for the series. Good morning to you. Good morning, Renita. As we heard the names, I mean, you have some huge A-list celebrities. How did you get them involved, and why did you think celebrity was important for this topic? I think the key thing was that celebrities could keep the conversation going. You know, people are going to tune in because they know a familiar face. But ultimately, these stories are about stories about real people, people who are your neighbors, people who you live around. And I think that's what's going to power the show. Celebrities are important, but that's not the only part of it. What are you trying to accomplish with this series? We're trying to start a national conversation, a global conversation, and ultimately get people beyond the point where they think climate change is something that's going to happen in the future in some distant land to some strange exotic animal. One thing that you found from what I read is you were surprised at how fast climate change actually happens. I think that was the biggest shocker for me. When I went to Christmas Island, when I went to the Andes, Climate change can happen really dramatically and quickly, like disaster movie dramatic. I didn't realize that as a scientist, I thought it would be a much more gradual thing. And when I say disaster movie fast, I mean 10 year time span. That is fascinating. When we look at this video, you can see you guys went to some really rough places. Yeah. I would imagine just shooting this was very difficult. Yeah, I mean, it's unbelievable. They had multiple teams around the world. I mean, Harrison Ford flying jet aircraft and going to Indonesia. You know, um, they sent me to Christmas Island, a small atoll in the middle of the Pacific, and also up to 20,000 feet in the Andes. I've done lots of documentaries before. This one came the closest to getting me killed, quite literally. <laughs> when you look at this, you talk about how quickly climate change um, can happen. Yeah. How quickly can it unhappen, if you would? Well, look, we've already crossed a point where we're going to have to live with some of it. The latest IPCC report that came out just last week basically says humans have to start adapting. If we stop emissions right now, we will still experience some heating of the planet. But it can get much, much worse if we continue the path that we're on. So is it, it can't unhappen, but we can sure as hell reduce the impact of it over the long run. As someone who studied climate for most of your life, mm -hmm. after doing this documentary, seeing what you've seen now, how worried are you for the environment? You know, I never felt it in my bones. I always felt like I was telling someone else a story. You know, um, I went on Letterman and he hammered me on this topic. And it surprised me. As a scientist, I thought I should have it right in my bones. Going on this journey really allowed me to tell the story from a personal perspective using real people out there. And it absolutely scared me. This is the biggest story of our lifetimes. And we truly are living in dangerous years. All right, Dr. M. Sanjan, thank you very much. The year of living dangerously, and it's on Showtime.